But some words to this day. Mm. That's your task for next week. Yeehaw! It's uh, PB Lawrence Steaks Tech Caulfield. It's in for a hoot nanny. So, um, so we've got some it's slobber knocker tips coming up soon here. It's all horsey. <laughs> uh, it's around. Yeah. So we've got, uh, we're heading down south to Caulfield now for Chelsea Tips, courtesy of Pro Group Racing. Yeah. Looking after us as always. And uh, we are going to look through all the black type races down at Caulfield. And I think uh, that's a pretty good plan. We'll stick to that throughout spring, try and look at the black type days, and then we'll worry about Melbourne Cup Day when we get to that. All right, so the black type, so we're on a soft track at the moment, but I believe rain's coming in Melbourne as well. Is it really? So another interesting day. just seems to be, I think since we've started the show, it hasn't stopped raining. Yes. Which is good for um, central west of Australia, but the, <laughs> the rest of us won't have a bet. Um, no, it is very good for the farmers. I sh- but uh, race five we're going to kick off with today. Uh, the uh, Vein Stakes for the three-year-olds down south. And uh, Beaver, how have you approached Caulfield with the rail? The rail's in the... I didn't write down the rail position. It's out a little bit. Yeah. Um, I think it's out three. Nine metres. Oh, nine metres, yeah. Not so the entire circuit. So um, a little bit on pace-ish, on pace-ish but yeah. again, Caulfield on those... There's some of those days where it gets to a point where, again, it gets outside fence. Yeah. And, um, I don't know. We'll treat it as fair till then. Well, I'm going to go... On pace? on pace, yeah. Well, you've been right every time you've done it. Yeah. The only time we've got it wrong was Canterbury last week, where it became the biggest sweepers track I've ever seen, and it uh, helped me. And it helped us. So <laughs> it, it did. $8 and um, yeah. So I got three wide the whole way. It was impossible to win. <sighs> I was kicking and cursing, and I just kept going. And then, but side so like, and this is the problem with some of the tracks, and uh, especially Melbourne, the track manager did a tremendous job actually. But Saigon was, I thought, the best horse in that race, and I wanted no bar of it because I thought it'd be last. And it bolted in. Like, yeah. so, but anyway, we move forward, we learn, and we uh, yeah, sort Can't of have to swim race, swim with the tide when there's bias, I think, instead of yes. against it. Uh, but we're kicking off here with the vein stakes over 1,100 metres. How's the market look? Hydro Star starts five, $2.80. Rulership, $3.00. Ranting, bit about what you do, $6.00. Mm-hmm. Larimer Street, $8.00. Our Playboy, bit of me, $10.00. There it is. Um, one day we'll do a show of no hats and we'll see who, which who's Playboy where. But um, that's uh, I'm going to kick off here with rulership. Uh, I thought it was well placed last week. They've obviously chosen to go to Melbourne. It's got a pretty good Melbourne record. Wet should be okay. I don't want it too heavy. Uh, but trialed in the wet, it trialed nicely. Um, Damien Lane book for the Snowdens should get a bit of control here, and that's the horse you have to get past. Um, what about yourself? Same. Cool. I'm with you. Excellent. Any yeah. dad? No, it's a lot of first uppers here, uh, resuming. I think Rulership will probably sit just behind if the pace. Lead, yeah, do you know what in the probably just behind. Three. I think Ranting it, will probably lead. Uh, yeah, well, Ranting um, ran on well when it went back, and it went uh, to it went sat on pace at Adelaide and um, did okay. I think Ranting's a nice horse. To be honest. Yeah. So what no. did you do with the favourite? Did you have an opinion, or you just? Well, it's hard. To, it's hard to get a line through it. To be honest, I. I they've, Got a bit of a liking and for it, but um, coming off the yeah sand down form, form uh, but a, it was a good it's run. Nice horse, um, but it got back, and that was my little bit of concern. It, it was a bit yeah. I, th- I think rulership gets probably control this race if yeah. um, more or less whether it sits outside lead or leads uh, yeah. around Caulfield, it will do pretty much what it did when it all but beat Hanseatic that day and. Um, Angry with some of those blue diamond horses. So um, nice start to the quarter there. We'll it's start in agreement again. Uh, it's well, it's the late. the nice start to the quarter comes up in race six. Got it used to doing some more races now. Yep. With the Cosette, the girl for the girls, the girls version of the same race, and uh, a wide market here. Bar the favourite. What do you reckon? How does it, how's it read? Yeah, it reads Parlophone two forty five, fresh six fifty, Bella Nipatana. Nipatina, nine dollars. Agreeable, ten dollars. I can too. Twelve dollars. River Knight, fifteens. What are you doing here? Tough race. It's a good race. Mm. Outside of the fave, there's plenty of value here, and the faves, you know. I think their fave's probably too short. Yeah, it is. I think Last. it is a bit too short, and I think um, the form got that. franked again. Peggy Celine won on Wednesday for us, as um, yes. alluded to by a very smart but judge it was sitting at a bar at your house. Um. It was midweek form, but won quite well. Um, and Tid Bolton that day was smashed in and 
was yeah. impressive. But it's going to have his work cut out here. Yeah, I think so too. And it's it one in Adelaide. In the, you know, a lot of these horses are the same thing. Had 52 kilos. He's got 57 now. So it's gone up five kilos. Yep. Um, won well, but... You know, that's a big jump in weight against good horses. I went for agreeable. Okay, cool. At ten dollars, so uh, Freeman Stable, uh, Jai McNeil's flying. Uh, one start, one win. Uh, I think it gets a good draw, and is not without a chance. Excellent. Um, I'm going to spec one here. Uh, first up, horses are not really keen to bet big, but I'm going to spec Ariaf the top weight. Um, one very impressively on debut. Uh, it's and it is going to get a lot of control here of this race. It's going to go forward, I would assume, under Luke Nolan, fast horse. It'd give him something to scra- uh, something to chase, and not a lot of fit form here outside the the favourite. The favourite could be a good horse and could win, but um, I'm just going to spec something here. You probably get twenties on a day, and um, I think it can hold on and run a place. Uh, interesting one, Bella Nipotina, former gay horse, down with the, the hay stable now. Yep. Um. But, yeah, I think Arif just as a, as a spec in a race that I'm more keen to watch for the future. Yeah, this is a bit of a uh, suck it and see. Because I think River Knight trialled really well. Did, well. yes, definitely. Uh, but, uh, drawn the one, so it's not without a chance. Fresh, uh, its first up win was very good. They were, you know, huge wraps. Uh, then got second, and then its last start before they put it out wasn't the best. But yeah. Um, Goes well fresh, potentially. Yeah, definitely. So it's certainly one to keep an eye on, and could be one that they put some money on. So I'd be, I, I, I like agreeable if they start, but if they come for fresh, I'd be, um, I'd be really, yeah, uh, probably. Yeah, I think it's a big spring for the Snowdens because they've just not been around for. Oh, the, the young ones are always good. Yeah, um, but um, well, they could have potentially could have to win uh, kick off with uh, the Vane the Quisette tomorrow. We've we did tip rulership as well, um, but they're just. Uh, They've been a bit quiet lately, but they're just starting to come good. Some yep. of the horses are starting to run through the line quite well now. A uh, bit of an easy one to get ahead around is a Regal Roller over the uh, 1,200 metres for some tried and true favourites against a couple, well, against a, a good fresh horse here, which sees Viridine and Jungle Edge clash for the third time in six weeks. Yep. How's the market now? Viridine, 310. Age of Chivalry, $5. Bumper Blast, 550. Be good, dear mother. 650, Jungle Edge, 950, 11s, She Shall Fly. Best horse factor here is Be Good to Your Mother. Yeah. Um, Six dollars. Didn't come up as good as what I thought. No. Last prep, but they weren't bad. I was in really good cl- classy races. Yeah. Um, but I I sort of didn't want to just tip Viridine because Viridine's the obvious. It's turn the tables on Jungle Edge. I think it'll run well. But now they're too... Those two are now weights on each other. They're dragging each other down now. Yep. They're so attached to each other. Because if, if it pours rain, it's heavy 10. Well, you know Jungle Edge is going to start $4, yeah. if not shorter, like happened a month ago. Yeah. Bumper Blast was good resuming, um, and that stable's had a, a wrap on it. Um, but having missed the $12, which um, because I was uh, busy at Bumper work, blast, um, was it? it was first up. I'm well down oh, the yeah, straight. Yeah yeah, 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 and I don't really want to take 550 in a better field. Um, but it, it's got some weight pull on these. Yeah. Woody, how are you going? I, lo- I, I don't mind Bumper Blast, but I've gone be good to your mother. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I think it's the best horse. This is a, well, it's a group one horse in a not quite a group one race. Yeah. Uh, I know it's fresh, but wet's not an issue for it. Uh, no. And it will be... Wet doesn't claim that, does he? No, no, no. He's a jockey. Uh, riding fine, Declan Bates. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, soft is, is one three times in the soft. Uh, it's the best horse in this race. The one that I, I want to mention outside the market That's is... That's uh, first start, too. Definitely, yeah. Is uh, Shahitsi. I think uh, it... it tri- I just watched it trial, actually, when we were watching the footy in there. But um, at 20s, it's a tough horse. It's just been off the boil for its last prep, but a, a good, tough on pacer. But not as good as Be Good to Your Mother. And I think it starts shorter, number three, Be Good to Your Mother, and yeah, gives this race a crack. Start. Yeah. Anything to add? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Second last of the day. Yep. We get to the PB Lawrence Stakes Group 2 for the 1,400 yeah. metres, and it's a ripper race. Uh, some very good horses here. So arguably two of the best fillies, maybe three of the best fillies in the country. Uh, mares they are now. They're old. Um, how's the market look? Yeah, it's a good market too. Plenty of value. 
Uh, mm. 4.40 the fave in Mystic Journey. Uh, Acadia, Acadia Queen, $5. Sabatiano, $5. Regal Power, 6 Streets of Avalon, 8 Kings Will Dream, 11s. Cascadian, 14 Sacconi, 15 How are you going here? Good race. Mm. Good field. <laughs> um, you know, you even got Morrissey in those down the bottom there, but um, Mystic Journey. You're going to go with Mystic? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I, I reckon 440 is not bad value. I think and so goes too. well first up. Uh, three from five first up. It's had two out of two on the, on the, the wet and won both. Uh, look, it's everything goes for it. It's won three out of three this distance, two out of two this distance in track. Um, yeah, looks good horse. I think, I don't know if, the, if they're playing his Cox plate, but I think they probably learnt in last start, uh, last prep that, or last spring, we'll go back then, that it's not a, Genuine 2,000 metre horse. It's probably more brilliant horse than that. Yep. And I think this is... It's going to kick off here for a win. Uh, the trials were fine. They were just, yep. sy- just Tasmanian synthetic trials. It's It's come back okay. And I had a bit of a hiccup uh, with injuries, but I'm with it as well. It has an SP over Regal Power who claimed it scalp in the in the All-Star Mile. Yeah. And is there to unreal, but uh, I am pretty keen. Mystic Journey's probably the best mare under a mile in Australia. Once, uh, you know, things didn't go well for it last prep. One start and then they put yeah. it back out. So. Yeah, it was, it was a bit injured. Yeah. yeah. Had a good horse. Billy Egan's going good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No no problem with him. Um, Regal Power obviously claimed at Scalp in All-Star Mile. Uh, and any thoughts on the two uh, pink colour horses? Oh, look, I think they're big chances. I think they're really <laughs> good chances. Arcadia, Arcadia Queen, I, I think, is probably the if I had to pick one, I'd go Acadia Queen over Regal Power, but they're both big chances in a race like this. They're quality horses. So, but Miss, yeah, I, I'm just going to go Mystic Journey. I think it just might get the better run. Gate nine, it's going to need a little bit of luck um, coming across from nine. But I think crosses and probably if Streets of Avalon, Sirconi, Savatiano or Push Forward probably finds cover. Probably finds I cover. I think finds cover. Um, yeah, well. Sort of uh, maybe running line two back, not that far off the space. Possibly. Um, I don't think, I, I think he can see where he wants. Yeah. And um, a point to prove for Willie Pike because he hasn't really had the blow away Melbourne. Yeah. He hasn't really proven himself over in the Eastern States. Uh, well, the, he, the, the bloke the, does ride through and wins a weird, but he hasn't had a, he a gets breakout He good carnival. horses beating... Less than good horses. Less than good horses. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to strap yourself on. Having said that, he does pull some great rides. He does. But you can sit there and ride but like that when you're on the best horse in the race. <laughs> but um, you see Ollie and uh, Damien Lane go over and ride there once a year and ride five winners in a day and yeah. put some of them jockeys to shame. But right. uh, he's got point proof, but, you know, he's a quality jockey, so it's going to be interesting to watch him. I think he's going to be in Melbourne most of spring, so... That's going to be an interesting story to track, and we'll um. You'll need to get on some Sydney horses and Melbourne horses. Yeah, he probably needs a relationship there more than. But that said, you got Lindsay Smith now in um, Melbourne, and obviously the uh, the Williams team are basing a lot out of Melbourne too. Yep. As we're about to talk about, I guess. So to, just to wrap it there, we've rambled a bit, but both of us Mystic Journey end of the day. Yep. Beautiful, and we're going to have Willie Pike in the last. On the, the on the odds on pop. So Strap on and win. instead of it being 8.30 on a Saturday afternoon, it's going to be five, 10 past 5 with Willie Pike on a hot pop to finish the day. Yep. And how's the rest of the market look? $1.75, $8 Wilmot Pass, disappointing last start, Adelaide Ace, $11, Titian Blinders, 11 13s plus the rest. Uh, you with the favourite? Oh, yes, yeah, it's hard to go past. Yep. Four, four from four this prep, it'll be winning again. Will not pass. Look, disappointing last start, and it's drawing 14, so I probably have to overlook that. Adelaide Ace is probably Adelaide Ace trialed okay. Nice horse. Yeah, it's a nice, nice horse. Nice horse, and it goes well first up, so it's probably the main danger. But this is a pretty weak race. The one I want to mention, it's the best horse in this race. Uh, I, I'm with a favourite for the record. I'm um, tipping showmanship. Juna Powell is uh, tried and true borderline Group One horse, uh, and it. Probably needs two thousand meters, yeah. but um, twenty. You're going to get twenties. I'll probably have a small saver on that. Um, but just so I can uh, cut it out and put it up if it does win, I'm going to mention Juniper. What to be in the picture? Yeah, be in the picture. But the favourite will win. Favourite will win this. But yeah. 
just think that's the overs for the race. Uh, we get to anything else earlier in the day? Um, no, not for me. Excellent. Got, my best bet comes up earlier in the day, so I'll leave that for them. Leave that for so them. Uh, is it going to be in the first? It's going to be in the first. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, and just quickly, uh, I want to mention it's good radio when I uh, and TV when I don't write it down. Uh, bless her earlier, but I'll talk about it for value. Actually, now I think of that. All right, my turn to do the quaddy. Melbourne quaddy. I make the numbers one, three, five, and twelve in the first leg. First leg. Yep. Into one, two, three, five, and eight. Into one, eight, nine, and I'm gonna play for a split in the last and throw in Junipal and Adelaide Ace as well as a favourite two, three, and four. Fifty bucks gets you twenty-seven percent of that. And if we get a little split in the way there, uh, that should pay all right. So that's my quaddie there. We'll see if I get the hat trick up. Yep. Let's uh, get to our best value of the day. Best value of the day? Yep. Me, agreeable. Agreeable, excellent. Whatever race that was in seven, I think. Yep, so it was the uh, Quisette. So for Beaver, it is race, race six, six, numbers down the bottom, wasn't ten. it? Race six, number 12, 12 at the $10 mark, agreeable for... Jai McNeil and the Freeman camp. My best favour of the day got the job done for me a few weeks back when I tipped it the same way, but bless her is going to run well again. Yep. Um, go out on a win here, bless her, and uh, I think it's a nice horse. Form stacked up all around her since that race as well. Best of the day for me is going to be... Plan CL. Race four, number two, I want to say... Uh, Plan C L about two thirty five, disappointing last start after the dead heat. But this is the weakest race it's been in a very long time, yeah, and uh, it should just win this. It's good. What's your best beaver? First up, the first race, first up of the day is Sovereign Award. Sovereign Award kick off with yeah, uh, about two dollars ten. I yep, two ten. So kick off race number one. Waste like some money in your pocket. Race one at number one for the beaver. Uh, Sovereign Award. Uh, anything around the country? Have you had a look? Have I've got a couple? What have you got for us? A couple in Eagle Farm because I've been flying up there. You have. I've got a couple. Last All right, couple. let us have them. Right, three. Okay. Race two, number one, Kiss Chicano. Mm -hmm. Absolutely butchered last start. I know what's coming next too. By the way, you got a tip guard uh, return with honour, aren't you? Yeah. The race three, number six, Wallace Horse, Super Contender. Yeah. Win, and then I am going to go race six, number one, return with honour. Yeah, two dollars thirty is a good price. Two forty. Oh wow, two forty. Bit of bet boost and yep. happy days. Throw that in. Return if I want to. It trolled sensationally. Scratched. Bo bo last saved week. last week to send. Weird to send it north. Yes. Well, I scratched it last week. It was my value. I look for dry track. Day. Yeah, dry track. Uh, it chased. It trolled alongside Northwest Pacific. Uh, North Pacific tremendously. Um, and what was your third one there? Oh, that was the third. I had one in Adelaide I want to get to. I'm glad I've made all these notes and forgot my stuff. Morfordville. Yeah. Try to find the catches up here. Screw it. Oh, that's right. Face the dogs. All right, Morfordville, there was one there as well. Uh, the Spring Stakes Behemoth's going to run well there. Uh, good horses race, Dallas Sun versus Behemoth, but Behemoth will knock him off here. Dallas Sun horse to follow down the road. There's a... The other one that's flying down there is in race five, number two, Territory yep. Titian. Yep. Bolted in last start. Uh, same as Meanie, race six, number three. And earlier in the day, we had... Uh, Todd Pennell was going to write a few winners this week. Um, no, that's it for me. I'll keep the rest for later. Yep. All right, so yep. very good. Good job, Beef. All right. A little bit lost there, but I'll make sure we've got our notes written properly next time. But... Uh, yes. For Pro Group Racing, we've uh, had a look through exciting spring carnival kickoff and uh, looking forward to getting deeper into these good meetings as we go forward. Uh, follow ProGroupRacing.com, jump on our Facebook page, show us your tips, jump on Pro Group Racing on all social media avenues and uh, we'll catch you on Wednesday. Good luck, guys. Ciao for now.